So uh, we are presenting an NN study to see whether uh, sleep patterns are associated with any cardiovascular outcomes. There has been one study in 97 which was just uh, which read this NN's data, but that was old data first of all, and they just reported two outcomes. We have reported the most recent database from the NN's, and we have studied five outcomes. And um, uh, this is the first time that a study has shown that. Uh, sleep pattern has been associated with five outcomes, that is coronary artery disease, angina, uh, myocardial infarction, uh, stroke, and uh, congestive heart failure. So basically we had 10,000 patients in the sample. Uh, in the end we, have th we had 3,000 patients for each outcome. And all these 3,000 patients were uh, seen whether were uh, grouped according to less than six hours, more, six to eight, and more than eight hours of sleep. And then chi-square tests were run. Uh, for the baseline data, and then we also um, adjusted all this analysis for blood pressure, um, cholesterol, diabetes, smoking, gender, age, race, everything that can lead to a cardiovascular uh, confounding. And the m one major strength of the study is that we also adjusted for sleep apnea. There is a, a recent meta-analysis by Capuccio et al. in um, uh, European Heart Journal, um, but uh, in the um, limitation they mentioned that None of the studies was reporting uh, sleep apnea as the confounder. So this is, we have also uh, adjusted for sleep apnea in this study. So prob uh, this is a retrospective study. So drawing any conclusion for it is not a good idea. The only conclusion from this study we can say is that sleep patterns are associated with the prevalence of these outcomes. We should not draw causal causality for that, but, um, but still it's enough meat to draw conclusions that um, further studies are needed in this regard, first of all. And it's kind of hard doing a study, prospective study with this question because you cannot control how much people can sleep every day, right? So um, as far as this goes, this is probably the most we can do or we can have a bigger sample later on. And um, right now we propose that it's, it's a very small thing that you just ask the patient how much are you sleeping. So it doesn't take time, doesn't cost you anything, nothing. So if in the future it can be proved that this is actually a risk factor, so we'll, we can put, it, put this as a, a separate risk factor and start asking for it and start, if patients have, are increased at risk, so we start treating them more about it. This is what we are presenting today. Uh, the findings actually are uh, people who were sleeping less than six hours, they had increased risk of congestive heart failure, uh, myocardial infarction and stroke. And people who were sleeping more than eight hours were, had in, increased prevalence of coronary artery disease and uh, angina. So this is what we saw. And we, also, we had odds ratios, we had uh, confidence intervals to see everything. And this is what we found in the end. Six to eight hours is the best sleep according to some previous studies and this study too.